Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Wednesday. It's October 9th. This will be our chart lesson for today, and you can see here on the daily chart that we had a mostly bullish day. Most of this came early, and then the afternoon we were kind of sideways till we had a kind of a last-minute push to a new high uh, late in the afternoon. But uh, for the most part, we spent a good bit of the trading day just kind of mixed and chopping sideways but on the big picture it's a bullish day we closed up we made an all-time new high here for this contract i think this may even be an all-time new high period for the s p but definitely for this contract and that's the kind of news i expect they're going to want to publish going into the election so my guess is we're not as i've said a million times we're probably not going to see any major correction prior to that election and uh, we're a little more than a little more than three weeks away, uh, so we're getting close. And uh, so I would suspect that we're going to have at least three more weeks of uh, decent to sideways action. Maybe a little correction, but I don't think it'll last very long. Uh, so uh, they want this market to look strong for the election, and, and that's pretty standard for election years, but. Anyway, there it is. Let's flip over to the 2000 tick chart. Take a look at that. Go through the trades and we'll wrap this day up. Okay, here it is. You can see that we had this early trend up. It looked like we had a flatter trend here, but it just looks like we kind of got a break and two new legs to a new high here and then uh, just reversed and had this straight up uh, rally here. Um, this is move just a tad on me should be more like this and then we had the break a couple of leg correction and we just kind of corrected sideways actually but there's a couple of legs down there I didn't measure them they're probably close to being a measured move real pretty close but uh, we had that failed breakout well this so you can see we really spent from about 10.30, 11, all the way to almost 2.30, just going sideways. We had the new, the FOMC meeting minutes. You, that one, you don't have to quite be clear an hour ahead of time. You want to be clear maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that, and uh, give it time to settle down. It didn't have much effect at all. Today. I, I guess it eventually rallied higher, but... Um, that was well after the news had already come out so I don't know if that had any if the news had much effect at all uh, obviously probably nothing in the minutes that we didn't already know about so I doubt there was anything to really jolt the market market now this got pink I'm not sure let's change this there that's a little easier to see but um, Anyway, let's uh, let's back out here and go through the trades and uh, wrap this day up. Now this this is one of those trends. I didn't mark any of these trades, but this is a very strong trend. So really, any signal bar that comes back to the trend line once it's been confirmed, which was right here, and that's a second entry too. Uh, it's not much room. There's another one. That one doesn't, this one doesn't break lower, so it's not a signal bar. This one doesn't qualify. Here's one more right here. I don't know if that has matching lows, but that's close enough. You could still trade that. And so you can see you could take any of those trades. That's a real strong trend. It's a little more advanced, so if it doesn't make sense to you, um, just don't worry about it. It's probably not something you'd want to trade yet. But when you see these real strong trends, and the way you know is because they, they're real tight channels like this one, and there's very the corrections are mostly sideways or, or just a bar or two, very shallow. You can see there's not any real corrections all the way up. They're very minor corrections, and there's lots of stems on both sides and dojis and things. That is a strong, strong trend, and when you see them, pretty much any signal bar that comes back to the trend line, you can trade it.
it has to qualify of course like any any signal bars do but uh, if it does you know you may want to take it so anyway I don't know if this was a secondary channel I think we just had a break here and we didn't get a reversal instead we just got another trend a steeper trend up and then from there we worked sideways we did have a fail until we had this failed breakout and then we still were working up to sideways before we right before the 2:30 hour we kind of rallied up and we got the close outside the green one and rallied up a little more into the uh, before we sold off right here actually we came back and sold off off the highs closed off the highs there so uh, but let's zoom in here and go through these trades and seven o'clock came right in here um, there was a second entry long here and it, it would have worked I'm pretty sure it would have worked but it looks really congested and you can see there's more than enough there I did not mark it um, we do get a close outside and a new low as well so it's a possibility and you would expect prices to make a new high I just was a little concerned because it's congested there and you see it didn't go very far before it made another leg down but it's a possibility you could argue for that to be green and then this was a failed breakout of course so uh, again you could argue for that to be green but uh, you want to wait on a higher low and you don't get one it just takes off but notice what happens it runs up it gets a first entry and then a second entry way away from the EMA and now you had your break of this green channel uh, there's actually a two-legged break and a another channel up with a close outside and a new high so I like going short on that second entry right there very bearish reversal type bar and you can see that was a really nice move down if you caught either one of these it's probably all you need today you could be done by 8:39 and going about your business but we're coming back down we get a close outside uh, we're mostly going sideways and you get a little failed breakout that turns back down and it bounces right at the key entry point um, this breaks lower first and turns up so it's an engulfing bar now that's a really bearish bar mostly full body so I'd probably trade that on the engulfing bar I don't know if I would go long above this I mean it's 16 ticks so it's a little you know it's a rather big bar but you may take that trade either way uh, if I were going to enter I'd probably use the engulfing bar on that one and you got to be careful with these engulfing bars but notice that uh, that's a good solid bar so generally you're if that was a doji like this or a no body bar like any of these I would not take that on the engulfing bar at all because it's probably going to turn into congestion and you're probably going to get trapped even here you see the little pullback that retested the support before it takes off uh, this one just runs straight up then you get a close outside and you get another first entry second entry but again it looks really congested and you're inside this that must have been what happened when I tried to color that pink earlier I must have colored this channel pink instead uh, so I don't think you want to go long there into that resistance now here you get you could argue there's a triple test but again you don't have much room to the highs it, it breaks out it would have worked but it's just not a very high probability trade but notice how we pull back once twice three times here and it's right where you got this trend line the cyan one the light blue one and the EMA so you got three different support mechanisms behind you there uh, so that's why I like this one again entering I think you have to enter it on the engulfing bar it looks a little like this this one I mean that's mostly a full body uh, I, I don't think I would go long right into these highs and you can see how it, it turns down pretty quickly it still would have continued higher but you don't want to risk all that to try to see if a trade's going to work and it looks like we get a close outside of the larger blue channel but this cyan one we're still working up the trend line and here you get a you're working down 
you get a first entry you pull back and when it breaks above this that's the second entry long uh, it's right off this key entry point I like going long on that one it looks like it's gonna fail momentarily and then all of a sudden it just takes off pull back and then we're still working higher I don't see anything in here I would risk uh, you can't trade the breakout to the short side there and nothing again to go long and then here's where we set this new trend line it just works up through here this tighter blue channel now what we have here you got a new high first entry second entry but it's just a range you got as long as you got room to get out before this high I would say you're probably okay to take that and you can see we ended up close the next two closes were here so I moved this I did have this uh, working off these two highs here and here Re let me just show you I originally had it off like that but once we went higher I, I moved the closes up to those two closes right there or open and close and that's really close to the high of this bar so um, doesn't matter anyway it continues to go higher but you can see it did go sideways for a bit so uh, I marked this one green obviously but uh, there's some reasons to like it and again you need to confirm this trend line before you can start trading it and uh, as a really strong trend although it's already looking like one somewhat right up through here but certainly by the time this one touches and this one touches uh, I would say you're you're probably fine to start trading this is a strong trend and every signal bar that qualifies that comes back to the trend line take it as long as it doesn't close outside and then finally we do get a close outside here you get a break two legs to a new low and then maybe go long there um, I, I meant to mark that green and not blue just simply because you get a break and two legs down and um, it looks like a reversal bar I think this bar originally looked a little better on my chart and I reloaded my data to get my new stuff to pop up there where you where it could be uh, where you could view it and I think but this bar changed a little bit I think it was much more bullish than that originally but uh, I'm still gonna keep it green so uh, I knew you get a break a couple legs up to a new high and uh, you get a new low here because you got to move down then you go higher and then down so this is a new low so this is first entry second entry short and if you draw your little trend line trend channel of course this is probably just a retest and I usually don't draw these on the retest there's nothing wrong with drawing them but I, I usually don't draw them on the retest just to kind of keep the price action easier to see and then you got this one down and you tried to make a new low but didn't quite get it there uh, this one should have a channel on it too and you get the close outside you don't quite get a new low but it just bounces where we had some previous support across here you actually get a triple test there but there's no again this bar must have changed because earlier I had a higher low that looked pretty good you can't trade this one but if you had a good signal bar there that's a higher low take it the way it looks on my chart now I'm going to change it green but I want to say before I reloaded my car my chart I had a really nice signal bar there and this one runs all the way up to the top and then you get triple test there and again that bar changed a little bit too I'm sorry that um, usually when you reload the chart it doesn't change it much but obviously it did today uh, I started uh, right on time today so I, I've been my chart's been going since 7 a.m. and I didn't reload it till right before the chart I started working on this chart lesson so I guess it was enough to change my chart up so but there it is a triple test that bar is questionable there but I'm pretty sure I had a better bar before I'll just leave it like it is 
uh, you might say, okay, well, you got a lower high here. Why didn't you take that? But when it didn't go anywhere here and goes back up, it's just too congested now. I would go ahead and draw your channel, and you can see it. You know, it always helps to draw this stuff because if you don't, you'll you'll miss something and you'll take a bad trade. But you can clearly see uh, by by the time you bounced here the third time, you don't want to be going short into that. It ends up working, but this is going into the news as well. And you don't want to take anything in the blue. And here we get two legs down. First entry. I don't see anything I like going long. And you get a first entry. And it comes back up. And then you get a second entry right here. It's a double top second entry. Um, part of the problem is we don't have a new high in place after the break of this. So it could go higher again. Um. I think this was worth it just to try to ride it back to the EMA at a minimum. Um, when it didn't break below here, um, you'd probably skip it. I mean, uh, again, I want to say it broke low there earlier, uh, but it, it doesn't show it on this chart. So the way this chart looks here, I would not take that trade because that is certainly congestion. And it ends up working, but it's not worth risking. Um, I would sit tight on that. And then of course you got a channel working down. And notice you get a close outside, move to a new low, and then it reverses. So you could argue for that one to be uh, green. And then you get a higher or low here, but again, I don't like the signal bar. It looks congested, so you can't take that. And so nothing's, no way to get in that move up, and then you're just chopping sideways, and nothing else to enter there into 230. So uh, really nothing much after lunch. I mean, you can see 1230, and then we lost this hour, and then there just wasn't anything much going on after that. So uh, what probably happens is most of your traders trade till lunchtime on this on these kind of days with this FOMC type news, and then they close up and go home probably. As you can see, we didn't have much volume after that at all. Really slowed down. But there it is. That's how I saw it today. And again, you know, I don't think this is a, a separate channel. I think we're just creeping up the. Let me move this out of the way, and I'll show you how I tend to see it here. I think we're just creeping. Creeping up the uh, EMA there, and you get your close outside, then a move to a new high, and uh, it just gives you a real strong move up. So I, that's pretty much how I see it. Uh, I originally do this channel, and there's nothing wrong with drawing this channel, but that's my opinion. Looking at it a little closer after the fact. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, you know, this is another one of those standard ranges. Now, I, or I will say this range had a little more consistent lows. We did have the failed breakout. We went a little lower here, but still higher. Here we were rather a little bit consistent until we moved higher as well. So, uh, you got a couple of more trades up here than you would than you would have had for yesterday so but there it is um not much else you can say about this day again most all of your movement happened before really 10 30 and then it was just not much after that so uh, anyway i hope you had a good trading day um we'll be back again to do it tomorrow and tomorrow's thursday it will wrap up our week i need to check on it but I know Monday is Columbus Day or something. Uh, I know it's a federal holiday, and usually the markets are closed. But I haven't seen anything saying the market's going to be closed, so I'm just going to pause it and look it up real quick. And because we may not have, we may not be trading Monday, but I'm going to verify that real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, nope, it does not look like it's a holiday. The next 
uh, trading holiday is Thanksgiving and then Christmas. So, and that, so that's the last two holidays in the year. So we will be here Monday. Everything will be, trading will be as normal. So uh, false alarm on me there. I, would, I, I just saw where Columbus, when I went through the bank, I saw Monday would be Columbus Day. And it seemed like at one time that used to be a trading holiday. Just about any federal holiday used to be a trading holiday. But I guess with the Globex now, they don't quite take them all they take a lot of them but not quite all of them so uh but anyway we'll be back monday so we're not going anywhere. we'll be back tomorrow but uh no we, there will be trading next week regular week so anyway i'm gonna wrap it up we'll be back again to do it tomorrow to wrap up our week i'm done for today this is mac with priceactiontradingsystem.com and we'll see you next time